वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ सी पी पी आर ग्लोबल हाई टी विद मी गाजी हसन सीनियर रिसर्च एसोसिएट सेंटर फॉर स्ट्रेटेजिक स्टडीज टुडे आई विल डिस्कस यू एस तालिबान पीस डील रिसेंटली साइंड इन दोहा इट्स इम्प्लीकेशन फॉर अफगानिस्तान एंड द पोलिटिकल डायनामिक्स द एग्जिट ऑफ यू एस फ्राम इट्स लॉन्ग ड्रॉन इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन अफगानिस्तान कॉस्टिंग मोर देन थ्री ट्रिलियन डॉलर एंड लाइफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड सोल्जर्स केम टू लाइफ with the signing of peace deal on 29th of february in doha america unable to turn the tide of war in its favor through military might it resorted to diplomatic advances in the form of peace talks guaranteeing concrete of major concessions to those taliban leaders who were all placed on the united states and un tariff list under the deal the united states will reduce its military footprint of 14000 troops to 8300 within 135 days followed with complete withdrawal of all the united states and the foreign troops within next 14 months the united states further strengthened the taliban's resolve by agreeing to release 5000 political prisoners and with a promise to deal is taliban from united nations and united states sanction list and telling travel ban asset freeze and arms embargo president ashraf ghani well cognizant about how the release of these taliban leaders might boost taliban's fighting morale and military capabilities initially refused to release them after taking oath as newly elected president in the recently held controversial afghan elections has ordered for the release of 1000 taliban prisoners perhaps in the wake of political stalemate where his political rival abdullah abdullah has discredited his victory in the election and has unilaterally declared himself as a rightful president thus weakening the prospect of cohesive political front in negotiating taliban during the intra afghan dialogue united states hopes that the taliban will abide by elements of peace agreement of not harboring terrorist outfit like isis and al qaeda that threatens the security of not only the united states but also its allies and to start negotiating with the taliban political leaders to reach a national accord for future governing system to believe taliban will cut its umbilical connections with al qaeda will be a strategic miscalculus any unanticipated fancies in the equation of taliban al qaeda ties are elusive as sirajuddin haqqani led haqqani network shares deep ties with al qaeda and al qaeda's leader ayman al zawahiri has already pledged allegiance to the taliban's leader habibullah akhundzada the two way may well argument their joint military operations against their common enemy the islamic state of khurasan also in any event of the attack from the united states or the coalition forces the ties between the al qaeda and the taliban will further get strengthened the risk of miscalculation runs high for the taliban too as strategy to increase skirmishes on the battlefield to retain the balance of power on the ground can elevate the risk of escalation threatening the lives of the us forces such an event will increase the possibility of united states leaving behind a significant number of intelligence and the security personnel in the country the peace agreement also mentions united states as facilitator of intra afghan dialogue but if the taliban afghan dialogue does not lead to any sort of political arrangement within these 14 months it would not have any impact on the united states plan of phased withdrawal before any peace talks political and systematic exchange of information on the arms build up troops movement establishment of observation posts peacekeeping forces and opening of the diplomatic channels for negotiating and most important ceasefire monitoring mechanism form the fulcrum of any confidence building measures it is also worth to note that why the kabul declaration with the islamic republic of afghanistan and doha agreement with the taliban does not have any evidence or mention of the preservation of democratic gains made in the last 18 years after taliban's ouster since 2001 the united states has shown its back by not fulfilling the moral obligation of protecting the rights of the minorities and the women's in afghanistan it did not seek any guarantees from taliban to uphold the liberties of these segments of the societies once they set foot into the political mainstream even after taliban's repetitive instances that they will protect the rights and the freedom as governed by the strict interpretation of the islam 
the United States triumph will eclipse the misery of Afghans when they are already disillusioned with the country's communal discord, rampant corruption, which has led to the loss of confidence in the institutions and where violence and the bloodshed with each passing day is becoming a norm. The intra-Afghan talk will face major stumbling blocks as Taliban will have a better bargaining position. <laughs> This not to happen, Abdullah Abdullah and Ashraf Ghani must first settle their power struggle to have an upper hand in the talks. Other contentious and the pressing issues include framework of the current democratic Afghanistan constitution, which is an anathema to the Taliban, representing the minor representation of the minorities and the demobilization and the reorganization of the Taliban forces into the Afghan security apparatus. Finally, entering into a deal with the Taliban that does not bind it to cease nationwide hostilities or reduce the level of violence, thus it will be not viable both for the United States and the Afghan government. As ceasefire on part of Taliban reduces their leverage and withdrawal of troops and the coalition forces reduces United States leverage. To signify signing of deal allowing for the withdrawal of international forces and some renunciation of terrorism thus will not last for long. This was all from this segment of Global High Tea video series. Follow the hashtag CPPR Global High Tea for all the updates and also to see our previous videos. If you like this video, please hit like, comment and share. Thank you.